Translation of Zahi Bukhari, Book 5. Bathing, Ghusl. Number 248. Narrated Aisha. Whenever the Prophet took a bath after Janabah he started by washing his hands and then performed ablution like that for the prayer. After that he would put his fingers in water and move the roots of his hair with them, and then pour three handfuls of water over his head and then pour water all over his body. Number 249. Narrated Maimuna. The wife of the Prophet, Allah's Apostle performed ablution like that for the prayer but did not wash his feet. He washed off the discharge from his private parts and then poured water over his body. He withdrew his feet from that place, the place where he took the bath and then washed them. And that was his way of taking the bath of Janaba. Number 250. Narrated Aisha. The Prophet and I used to take a bath from a single pot called Farak. Number 251. Narrated Abu Salama. Aisha's brother and I went to Aisha and he asked her about the bath of the Prophet. She brought a pot containing about a saw of water and took a bath and poured it over her head and at what time there was a screen between her and us. Number 252. Narrated Abu Jafar. While I and my father were with Jabir bin Abdullah, some people asked him about taking a bath he replied, A saw of water is sufficient for you. A man said, A saw is not sufficient for me. Jabir said, A saw was sufficient for one who had more hair than you and was better than you, meaning the Prophet, and then Jabir put on his garment and led the prayer. Number 253. Narrated Ibn Abbas. The Prophet and Maimuna used to take a bath from a single pot. Number 254. Narrated Jabir bin Mutam. Allah's Apostle said, As for me, I pour water three times on my head. And he pointed with both his hands. Number 255. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah. The Prophet used to pour water three times on his head. Number 256. Narrated Abu Jafar. Jabir bin Abdullah said to me, your cousin Hassan bin Muhammad bin al Hanafiya came to me and asked about the bath of Janaba. I replied, The Prophet uses to take three handfuls of water, pour them on his head and then pour more water over his body. al Hassan said to me, I am a hairy man. I replied, The Prophet had more hair than you. Number 257. Narrated Maimuna. I placed water for the bath of the Prophet. He washed his hands twice or thrice and then poured water on his left hand and washed his private parts. He rubbed his hands over the earth and cleaned them, rinsed his mouth, washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out, washed his face and both forearms and then poured water over his body. Then he withdrew from that place and washed his feet. Number 258. Narrated Aisha. Whenever the Prophet took the bath of Janaba, sexual relation or wet dream, he asked for the hilab or some other scent. He used to take it in his hand, rub it first over the right side of his head and then over the left and then rub the middle of his head with both hands. Number 259. Narrated Maimuna. I placed water for the bath of the Prophet and he poured water with his right hand on his left and washed them. Then he washed his private parts and rubbed his hands on the ground, washed them with water, rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out, washed his face and poured water on his head. He withdrew from that place and washed his feet. A piece of cloth, towel was given to him but he did not use it. Number 260. Narrated Maimuna. The Prophet took the bath of Janaba. Sexual relation or wet dream, he first cleaned his private parts with his hand, and then rubbed it that hand on the wall earth and washed it. Then he performed ablution like that for the prayer, and after the bath he washed his feet. Number 261. Narrated Aisha. The Prophet and I, used to take a bath from a single pot of water and our hands used to go in the pot after each other in turn. Number 262. Narrated Aisha. Whenever Allah's Apostle took a bath of Janaba, he washed his hands first. Number 263. Narrated Aisha. The Prophet and I, used to take a bath from a single pot of water after Janaba. Number 264. Narrated Anas bin Malik. 
the Prophet and one of his wives used to take a bath from a single pot of water. Shuba added to Anas a statement after the Janaba. Number 265 Narrated Maimuna I placed water for the bath of Allah's Apostle and he poured water over his hands and washed them twice or thrice. Then he poured water with his right hand over his left and washed his private parts with his left hand, he rubbed his hand over the earth and rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. After that he washed his face, both forearms and head thrice and then poured water over his body. He withdrew from that place and washed his feet. Number 266 Narrated by Munab bin Al-Harith I placed water for the bath of Allah's apostle and put a screen. He poured water over his hands, and washed them once or twice. The sub-narrator added that he did not remember if she had said thrice or not, then he poured water with his right hand over his left one and washed his private parts. He rubbed his hand over the earth or the wall and washed it. He rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. He washed his face, forearms and head. He poured water over his body and then withdrew from that place and washed his feet. I presented him a piece of cloth, towel and he pointed with his hand that he does not want it and did not take it. Number 267 Narrated Muhammad bin Al-Muntafir On the authority of his father that he had asked Aisha about the hadith of Ibn Umar, she said, May Allah be merciful to Abu Abdurrahman. I used to put scent on Allah's apostle and he used to go round his wives, and in the morning he assumed the ihram, and the fragrance of scent was still coming out from his body. Number 268 Narrated Katada Anas ben Malik said, The Prophet used to visit all his wives in a round, during the day and night and they were eleven in number. I asked Anas, had the Prophet the strength for it? Anas replied, we used to say that the Prophet was given the strength of thirty men, and Sayyid said on the authority of Katada that Anas had told him about nine wives only not eleven. Number 269 Narrated Ali I used to get emotional urethral discharge frequently. Being the son-in-law of the Prophet I requested a man to ask him about it. So the man asked the Prophet about it. The Prophet replied, Perform ablution after washing your organ, penis. Number 270 Narrated Muhammad bin Al-Muntafir On the authority of his father that he had asked Aisha about the saying of Ibn Umar, that as he did not like to be a mudam while the smell of scent was still coming from his body, Aisha said, I scented Allah's apostle and he went round, had sexual intercourse with all his wives, and in the morning he was mudam after taking a bath. Number 271 Narrated Aisha It is as if I am just looking at the glitter of scent in the parting of the Prophet's head hair while he was a mudam. Number 272 Narrated Hisham ben Urwa On the authority of his father, Aisha said, Whenever Allah's apostle took the bath of Janaba, he cleaned his hands and performed ablution like that for prayer and then took a bath and rubbed his hair, till he felt that the whole skin of the head had become wet. Then he would pour water thrice and wash the rest of the body. Aisha further said, I and Allah's apostle used to take a bath from a single water container, from which we took water simultaneously. Number 273 Narrated Maimuna Water was placed for the ablution of Allah's apostle after Janaba. He poured water with his right hand over his left twice or thrice and then washed his private parts and rubbed his hand on the earth or on a wall twice or thrice and then rinsed his mouth, washed his nose by putting water in it and then blowing it out Arid then washed his face and forearms and poured water over his head and washed his body. Then he shifted from that place and washed his feet. I brought a piece of cloth, but he did not take it and removed the traces of water from his body with his hand. Number 274 Narrated Abu Huraira Once the call, a comma for the prayer was announced and the rows were straightened. Allah's apostle came out. And when he stood up at his musalla, he remembered that he was Janab. Then he ordered us to stay at our places and went to take a bath and then returned with water dropping from his head. He said, Allahu Akbar, and we all offered the prayer with him. Number 275 Narrated Maimuna. I placed water for the bath of the Prophet and screened him with a garment. 
he poured water over his hands and washed them. After that he poured water with his right hand over his left and washed his private parts, rubbed his hands with earth and washed them, rinsed his mouth, washed his nose by putting water in it and then blowing it out and then washed his face and forearms. He poured water over his head and body. He then shifted from that place and washed his feet. I gave him a piece of cloth but he did not take it and came out removing the water from his body with both his hands. Number 276 Narrated Aisha Whenever any one of us was Janab, she poured water over her head thrice with both her hands and then rubbed the right side of her head with one hand and rubbed the left side of the head with the other hand. Number 277 Narrated Abu Huraira The Prophet said, the people of Bani Israel used to take bath naked all together looking at each other. The Prophet Moses used to take a bath alone. They said, by Allah. Nothing prevents Moses from taking a bath with us except that he has a scrotal hernia. So once Moses went out to take a bath and put his clothes over a stone and then that stone ran away with his clothes. Moses followed that stone saying, My clothes, O stone. My clothes, O stone. Tell the people of Bani Israel saw him and said, By Allah, Moses has got no defect in his body. Moses took his clothes and began to beat the stone. Abu Huraira added, By Allah, there are still six or seven marks present on the stone from that excessive beating. Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, When the Prophet Job, Ayyub was taking a bath naked, golden locusts began to fall on him. Job started collecting them in his clothes. His Lord addressed him, O Job, haven't I given you enough so that you were not in need of them? Job replied, Yes by your honor that is power. But I cannot dispense with your blessings. Number 278 Narrated Umhani bin Abi Talib I went to Allah's apostle in the year of the conquest of Mecca and found him taking a bath while Fatima was screening him. The prophet asked, Who is it? I replied, I am Umhani. Number 279 Narrated Maimuna I screened the Prophet while he was taking a bath of Janaba. He washed his hands, poured water from his right hand over his left and washed his private parts. Then he rubbed his hand over a wall or the earth, and performed ablution similar to that for the prayer but did not wash his feet. Then he poured water over his body, shifted from that place, and washed his feet. Number 280 Narrated Um Salama The mother of the believers Um Sulaim the wife of Abu Talha, came to Allah's Apostle and said, O Allah's Apostle! Verily Allah is not shy of telling you the truth. Is it necessary for a woman to take a bath after she has a wet dream nocturnal sexual discharge? Allah's Apostle replied, Yes, if she notices a discharge. Number 281 Narrated Abu Huraira the Prophet came across me in one of the streets of Medina and at that time I was Janab. So I slipped away from him and went to take a bath. On my return the Prophet said, O Abu Huraira, where have you been? I replied, I was Janab, so I dislike to sit in your company. The Prophet said, Subhanallah. A believer never becomes impure. Number 282 Narrated Anas bin Malik the Prophet used to visit all his wives in one night and he had nine wives at that time. Number 283 Narrated Abu Huraira Allah's Apostle came across me and I was Janab he took my hand and I went along with him till he sat down I slipped away, went home and took a bath. When I came back, he was still sitting there. He then said to me, O Abu Huraira, where have you been? I told him about it. The Prophet said, Subhan Allah. O Abu Huraira. A believer never becomes impure. Number 284. Narrated Abu Salama, I asked Aisha, did the Prophet used to sleep while he was Janub? She replied, yes, but he used to perform ablution before going to bed. Number 285. Narrated Umar bin al khattab I asked Allah's Apostle. Can any one of us sleep while he is Janub? He replied, Yes, if he performs ablution, he can sleep while he is Janub. 
Number 286. Narrated Aisha. Whenever the Prophet intended to sleep while he was Janab, he used to wash his private parts and perform ablution like that for the prayer. Number 287. Narrated Abdullah. Umar asked the Prophet, Can any one of us sleep while he is Janab? He replied, Yes, if he performs ablution. Number 288. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar. Umar bin al khattab told Allah's Apostle, I became Janab at night. Allah's Apostle replied, Perform ablution after washing your private parts and then sleep. Number 290. Narrated Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, When a man sits in between the four parts of a woman and did the sexual intercourse with her, bath becomes compulsory. Number 291. Narrated Zagyad bin Khalid o Juhani. I asked Uthman bin Affan about a man who engaged in the sexual intercourse with his wife but did not discharge. Uthman replied, he should perform ablution like that for the prayer after washing his private parts. Uthman added, I heard that from Allah's Apostle. I asked Ali bin Abi Talib, Azabar bin Alawam, Talha bin Obaidullah and Ubay bin Qab and to give the same reply. Abu Ayyilab said that he had heard that from Allah's Apostle this order was cancelled later on so one has to take a bath. See, Hadith number 180. Number 292. Narrated Ubay bin Qab. I asked Allah's Apostle about a man who engages in sexual intercourse with his wife but does not discharge. He replied, he should wash the parts which comes in contact with the private parts of the woman, perform ablution and then pray. Abu Abdullah said, taking a bath is safer and is the last order.